three tips for any buyer who wants to buy a property? So I think first thing is back to what we discussed, the finances should be ready. Mm. Yeah, so they know, I mean, first thing is the budget. Then also you know, need to know the loan amount you can borrow, unless you are paying full cash. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or full CPF. Or full CPF, yeah. So important finances to be ready. The second thing, I think the, the mindset is, must be ready. Share a bit more about yeah. the mindset. So, what do you so, mean by so for me, right, actually I have a failed investment before. I went to put money to a new launch. Then after that, I got afraid of the market. I myself as an agent, but I got afraid of the market because of all the bad news and you know, what's happening that time to the trade war and all this yes. so the more I read the news the more scared I am oh I actually let the deposit just Are you forfeited I forfeited deposit? yeah so I lost 10 over 1000 so, so what happened yeah. to that property today yeah that property was sold to somebody <laughs> else and I think somebody <laughs> at the leverage because I lost my deposit yeah. the developer actually sell it higher oh no so the for hard pain so as an agent my mindset wasn't ready as okay. well so I think ready buyers with the right mindset no you mm. enter in I'm not saying that you are reckless yep. but at least you have the confidence I understand yeah. and of course uh, in what we, what we share with you as well that we can work together Mm-hmm. Not because we want to push a property to you, but no, but but you have confidence in Singapore property market. Right. Uh, what Jason shared is absolutely true because knowledge is power. Knowledge, we are equipped with enough preparation, it gives you the confidence to go ahead. Now, it's not about how much you have in the bank, it's how you manage the money, which allows you to have the multiplication to help your money to grow. Yeah. Right. So, so what was the third point you mentioned? I think the last point I want to say is because as my experiences is to establish a safety net for yourself. Sometimes we are afraid because you know, we want to put everything into the into the basket, into mm-hmm. property, but we've got to look back and think about our safety net. So if let's say the, the exit timeline wasn't right, you, know, you can't materialize what you want to when you want to sell, at least you have buffer that you can actually utilize towards the property. So with that, you now you're not that afraid to go into property purchase or investment. I see. Yeah. So we do not empty our savings just for the down payment. On, on the later part, we might find problems solved, uh, like serving the mortgage. That's yes. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But correct. who knows that you might, as an example, you might lose your job. Mm, correct. But having that fear, it does not deter you from investing. Yes. As long as you have the numbers in control and you know what you're buying. Yes. So the three points I repeat. Okay, so number one, you actually know your budget, finances. Number two, mindset. Knowledge is power. Number three, safety net. Well, I think this is a great sharing, Jason. Yeah. Thank you. So-